Hi everyone, I'm going to be taking you through a bag demo today. So the first thing I do is I have my avatar in my space. Now I'm going to add my pattern. This can be a DXF, AMA, or ASTM format. And now I'm going to arrange my bag around my avatar. So I'm just going to do my main bag pieces right now. Get those all set up. I'm going to use my gizmo to do so. So I just have my front and my back, and then I'm going to add my sides. I'm just going to flip my under piece and place that underneath my avatar. Great. Use the gizmo to rotate it. Awesome. Okay. Now that I have that set, I'm going to go ahead and freeze the rest of my pieces. I don't want them to fall during simulation. Okay, now I can start sewing my bag together. You can see my sewing relationships form in my 2D and my 3D window. Awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna pin the tops of both the front and the back of my bag because I don't want them to fall. Awesome. All right, so now I have my little basic bag together. I'm gonna move my pins towards my avatar and then I can adjust it also using my gizmo. I'm also going to bring it up a little bit. It looks a little low. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add some seam taping and bonding to my bag just to give it a little bit more stiffness. And then I'm going to set a fold angle as well for the edges of my bag so it just gives it a little bit more of a crisp fold. Justin. Awesome. Okay. Now that I have my bag together, I'm going to start sewing my straps to my bag. And I can zoom in here and really get the placement that I want. It's really easy to go back as well. And now I'm just going to superimpose my handles over my bag. This is probably my favorite feature of Glow. It makes adding pieces really, really easy. Great. Okay, my second fan holds our handle sewn here. Awesome. I'm just going to superimpose this again. Okay, I'm just going to add some pins on my handles. Make sure that they don't fall over, but now they'll stay while simulating. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to add bonding and seam taping to my handles as well. And now I'm just going to delete my pins on the front and the back of my bag because I no longer need them to hold up my bag. Awesome. Adjust my pins. I'm just reducing the particle distance. This is going to give the handles a nicer shape. And now I'm going to strengthen. I'm just going to pin the center of the handle so it'll keep that nice shape as I'm working. Great. And now I can move the whole handle together instead of adjusting just one pin at a time. Okay, I'm going to go back and adjust my bag, make sure that the pieces are nice and stiff and they're holding that shape. Great. Okay, so I'm 
actually going to use solidify, which is going to keep those the shape of each of the pieces because I really want structure for this bag. Go. I hid my avatar, and now I can just focus on my bag. I set the particle distance down. All right. Okay, now we have our basic bag structure together. Let's go ahead and start sewing on our pockets. So I can do this easily by just sewing around my main bag, and then I'm going to superimpose these pieces over like I did my handles. adjust them a little bit and I'm going to unfreeze them. You can add bonding and seam taping as well like the rest of the bag. Great. Just takes a second and now my pockets are set. Awesome. I'm just going to change my sewing type to make sure it's a nice crisp fold. strengthen the pockets as well. Great. Okay. Just adjust a little bit. I'm going to solidify these pieces as well. Okay. Now I'm going to start sewing on my side pockets as well. It's going to be the same here. I'll sew them onto the bag and then superimpose over. seam taping and bonding and then I can solidify these. I'll add some strengthening and then I can simulate. Awesome. Okay, so the last thing I need to sew on here is just my strap. My little accessory piece that goes over my strap, I'm just sewing on. And I can go back and adjust really easily. Just sew to my internal shape for that top stitching detail. And I'm just going to carefully sew around each side. So I'll do this for each piece. All right, last one. Just to adjust it. lining up and then just sew my internal shapes. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to superimpose these over. Okay, okay. just bring them forward a little bit and remember to unfreeze them. Awesome. Okay, so now we have our accessory piece for our strap over. These pieces are really small. And then I'm going to solidify as well to keep their shape. Okay, just unstrengthened, and now I'm going to add my fabric. Okay. 
just selecting my straps and my strap accessory pieces. And then I'm gonna open up my leather. Great. I'm going to go back in and set it as a leather type, and now I'm changing the reflection. Awesome. And then I'm going to make this a heavyweight cotton twill for the bag body. And now I can go in and change the color. Now that I have my bag together, I can go back and add some top stitching. I'm just going to set my top stitching color, and I'll add it for my strap first, and then I'll go back to my body. Awesome. Okay, just set it on my little accessory pieces here. And if it's not thick enough, I can always go back and make it thicker. I just want to make sure that I can see it on my strap. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to make my a double needle top stitch to go along the edge of my bag and the edge of my pocket. I'm just going to apply that here. Awesome. Easy as just clicking on the edges that I want to apply it to. Great. Okay, now I'm going to set my particle distance down for the entire bag because I want to get ready to render here. Awesome. Okay, I'll set it down further for the accessory pieces and also the strap. I just also want to set down that collision thickness, just to make sure. All right, now I can add some color weights. So I'm going to add a green and a tan version. This is a really great way to see your whole line or if you're deciding between a two di few different colors, this will really help. Okay, I'm just going to change my top stitch color, match it to my bag. Great. Okay, and now I see my new line. All right, I'm going to go back to my blue one, and I'm going to go into the snapshot. Okay, so here I can take different snapshots with customized views. This is really great if you want to send just certain photos out. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to take a little turntable video. Just the 360 degree rotation of my bag. Okay, and then the last thing is our internal render, which is going to take a more photorealistic image of my bag. I'm just going to adjust the lighting settings, the exposure, you have a lot of different ways to customize your image. I can also do all colorways at once, which is going to save me a lot of time, especially if I want to put them side by side to compare. Awesome. So I'm going to let this render, and then at the end I'll have a more photorealistic image. Thank you for watching.